Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Alexis Bellino blasted by Rurik OC fans after unblocking comments. Alexis Bellino made a major change to her Instagram profile, and one can only imagine she has to regret it. John Jansen's fiance's social media move comes as her return to the Real Housewives of Orange County gets rockier by the week. After not being part of the show for 10 seasons, Alexis returned as a friend for the most recent season. Bravo sniffed out that drama was sure to ensue since she was now dating Shannon Beater's ex, John Jansen. When Shannon and John broke up shortly after her DUI arrest, he wasted no time moving on with the former RHOC cast member. Alexis and John came in hot and went after Shannon immediately. They threatened to release video footage of the night Shannon was arrested unless she repaid a $75,000 loan a move commonly known as extortion. Oreo C fans have been brutal to both Alexis and John on social media, which was not a problem since she had her comments turned off. Following her appearance on WWHL, Alexis made the baffling decision to turn her comments back on in a post about returning to the show. Fans pounced on the opportunity to blast her, her man, and her bestie, Tamara Judge the most cringe WWHL ever. You should just turn the comments off again, wrote one fan. I've never known a reality star to be as hated as you and Tamara, and not in like a, oh we love to hate them, kind of way, just an actual we really can't stand you both, and want you gone from the show. It's embarrassing, another shared. Using blackmail as a storyline to get your foot in the door? Very ungodly, pointed out a third. The fact John admits to blackmailing her per a lawyer says it all. I hope you get away from this man. He is truly not a good soul, added a fourth. Alexis has, unsurprisingly, turned comments back off. It wasn't just fans who took aim at Alexis and John recently. On the latest episode of RHOC, it was Emily Simpson's turn. As Emily and Heather Dubrow fought over a dress, Alexis bizarrely tried to make Emily's understandable insecurities all about her. You're not involved in this. You're a friend. Emily screamed at Alexis on her way out, referring to her status on RQHOC. Shut the f up. New Real Housewives of Orange County episodes air Thursday nights on Bravo. Tell us, whose side are you on, Alexis or everyone else? Do you think she will be back for another season? Sound off in the comments below. Alexis Bellino, former Real Housewives of Orange County, RHOC star, recently found herself in the midst of fan backlash after re-enabling comments on her social media posts. Once notorious for carefully controlling who would interact with her content, Alexis seemed to have loosened her grip on the block button, allowing the public full access to her page. It didn't take long for RHOC fans to flood her comment section, and the reactions were anything but forgiving. The decision to unblock comments wasn't random. Alexis, who had left RHOC in 2013, had been slowly reintegrating herself into the public eye. Over the years, she kept her distance from the show and most of the drama, making occasional appearances on social media but largely avoiding RHOC commentary and fan scrutiny. She rarely addressed her former castmates or the franchise, and if fans made overly critical remarks, she either blocked them or limited comments altogether. Her recent decision, however, to open up her social media to all comments gave fans an unexpected opportunity to voice years' worth of opinions. Initially, Alexis posted a glamorous photo of herself lounging by the pool, showcasing her signature style. With her characteristic blonde waves, designer sunglasses, and a cheeky caption reading, Living my best life, no drama required, she seemed ready to embrace a fresh start. But her attempt at a lighthearted post became a lightning rod for criticism. Rio C fans didn't hold back diving into her comment section with everything from playful jabs to harsh critiques. Oh, finally unblocking comments? Guess you're looking for attention now, 
one user wrote. Another chimed in, living your best life after that RHOC mess? Girl, please. Some comments were even more brutal, with fans resurrecting memories from the show, criticizing Alexis for her well-flaunting, dramatic meltdowns, and infamous arguments with her co-stars. While some fans appeared amused by the sudden openness, others saw it as an opportunity to confront her directly. Many questioned whether her past behavior on RHOC was an act or if the real Alexis had finally surfaced. A recurring theme among comments was her perceived materialism. Fans reminded her of the numerous times she flaunted her wealth and designer outfits on the show. Remember when it was all about brands and luxury? Thought you'd changed by now. Read one comment. Alexis chose to respond selectively, addressing some of the less aggressive comments while ignoring the harsher critiques. She defended herself, suggesting that her lifestyle then was misunderstood and misrepresented, but some fans were not convinced. If it was all misrepresented, then why did you lean so hard into it back then? asked one persistent fan, echoing a sentiment that many shared. Adding fuel to the fire was Alexis's recent involvement in new business ventures. Since leaving RHOC, Alexis had developed a yoga line and invested in a couple of wellness retreats. She frequently promoted them on her social media, posting serene photos from the retreats and sharing motivational messages. But fans were skeptical about her shift toward wellness, accusing her of trying to rebrand herself without addressing the fallout from her RHOC years. Yoga? Wellness retreats? This from the same person who screamed about diamonds and mansions for three seasons? One comment mocked. Alexis, who had grown used to dismissing the critique by ignoring it, decided to engage, emphasizing how much she had changed since her days on RHOC. People grow and evolve, she replied, and I'm proud of the journey I've been on. This response, however, received a mixed reception. While some followers offered support, others saw it as a half-hearted justification. One of the most pointed criticisms came from a longtime RHOC fan who highlighted her history of feuds with her co-stars, particularly her memorable confrontations with Heather Dubrow and Tamara Judge. Funny how you talk about no drama, but back in the day, you were all about causing it, the fan commented. Alexis, clearly frustrated, responded, that was over a decade ago. People change and so have I. Her attempts at addressing her past behavior only seemed to invite more criticism. Some fans accused her of being disingenuous, arguing that her transformation was merely a tactic to stay relevant. You're not fooling anyone. This is just another attempt to stay in the limelight. One user wrote, while another added, Funny how you blocked comments when things got tough, but now that you're promoting a business, it's suddenly open. Despite the backlash, some fans expressed sympathy for Alexis, encouraging her to stand her ground. People need to let the past go. Alexis is moving forward, and so should we, one supportive follower wrote gathering a few likes and replies from those who agreed. Alexis acknowledged the support, thanking those fans for their kindness. After a few days of continuous scrutiny, Alexis took to her Instagram story to address the situation directly. In a brief but firm statement, she expressed gratitude to her fans and gently asked for understanding. I appreciate everyone who has supported me throughout my journey, from RHOC to now, she wrote. It hasn't always been easy, and I know I'm not perfect, but I'm committed to personal growth and spreading positivity. I hope you can see that in what I share. The post was met with mixed reactions. Some fans appreciated her honesty, while others dismissed it as a carefully curated PR move. Nevertheless, the statement marked a turning point. Though she didn't delete or disable comments, Alexis subtly shifted her content to focus more on her new ventures, letting the RHOC criticisms naturally fade into the background. Still, the incident underscored how deeply invested RHOC fans remain, even years after Alexis left the show. 
It became a reminder of how reality television's intense exposure can shape a public figure's legacy, leaving fans with strong opinions long after the cameras stop rolling. Despite her attempts to redefine herself, Alexis's REQC past remains a powerful touchstone for fans, serving as both a point of admiration and a source of critique. As Alexis continues to navigate her social media journey, her re-engagement with fans stands as a double-edged sword. On one side, it offers her an opportunity to address misunderstandings and show her growth. On the other, it serves as a stark reminder of her RHOC days and the lasting impact of reality TV. For better or worse, Alexis Bellino's decision to unblock comments brought her full circle, reminding everyone that even in the age of reinvention, the past isn't always easy to shake.